Hello, hello. This uh, is another little project of mine. It's one of those convertible Dell tablets, well, laptop slash tablets. Um, not sure of the exact model number on it because it doesn't seem to be printed anywhere. This one's in fairly rough condition. You can tell the bottom is pretty scratched up. I got it from a coworker, and the reason why it was given to me is the keyboard is totally shot doesn't work in the slightest. Um, and I thought originally, oh, we'll just replace the keyboard, you know, because originally you wanted me to try fixing it. Well, lo and behold, it's not really replaceable because the keyboard is actually glued, well, actually heat staked to the top case. So you'd have to replace the entire palm rest area, and that costs about $150 for the parts, and the laptop's worth a little over 200 used, so it's just not even worth it. Um, but the machine does still function perfectly fine. It's actually a little touchscreen machine stuff. It's got Windows 10 on it, Pentium quad core, four gigs of DDR3 RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive. Um, most likely I'll end up just scrapping it for parts. However, I have actually washed the keyboard a while ago in soap and water and stuff. And I, well, I put it back together it was still had some moisture in it and things, but I just left the keyboard disconnected. Um, so what I'm going to do now is flip it upside down, uh, pull the bottom panel off, and reattach the keyboard, see if anything works. But most likely it's um, still not going to function, and it'll require a new keyboard. I found a place where I can get just the keyboard itself for like thirty some dollars however I would have to reattach it to the uh, palm rest somehow and that requires you to break the other keyboard off and then probably break the palm rest at the same time while trying to do it so I'm not sure if that's really worth it or not I might try that at some point I don't know if the laptops really worth messing with um, if you guys wanna give me any kind of helpful feedback on here if you've experienced this problem with one of these and know a good way of repairing it, please do let me know, because that'd be kind of nice to uh, have this working again. Um, but I'm kind of at a loss for that. I don't know. I'm, and overall, I mean, the laptop's in decent shape. Like, on the top, the bottom is just all destroyed because the feet fell off of it, and it's kind of, like, bowed out a little bit on the bottom. So it rubs on the table and just chews the silver paint off. You can tell it doesn't doesn't sit flat without those feet on there. Um, go ahead and flip it over. I'm not too concerned about scratching it since it's already pretty scratched up. We'll go ahead <coughs> excuse me, and remove all of these screws and pop this guy apart and reattach that keyboard connector. The machine's actually still in sleep mode. Um, I'm not even worried about that. It shouldn't hurt it. As long as I don't short anything out, this is actually still technically running. I've done this a couple other times to it before. I don't recommend working on a laptop while it's turned on or has a battery in, but since this one doesn't have an easily removable battery, eh, whatever, you know. It, it was a free machine. It's pretty well hopeless. I've just been using it as like a little weather station recently, running um, GR Level 3 on it. Just basically sitting it on a shelf to uh, display a weather map. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it really doesn't have too much of a purpose around here. So if I break it, meh, not a big deal. Um, really the only thing I'm interested in is the 4 gig, single 4 gig dim, so dim in here, and the 500 gig hard drive, which I'm about 99% sure will be going in my Dell Latitude. Uh, let's see, it's an E6420. Because um, I ordered the caddy that goes in where the optical drive normally goes that can hold a second um, drive, second hard drive, and oh man, that is really stuck in there. Try going around the front. Whoop, and knock the camera. Ah, I hate these plastic clip designs. Alright, anyway. But yeah, 
I'm probably going to be pulling the hard drive out of this and putting it in as a storage drive in my E6420 because um, I actually do most of my video editing on that laptop, which I know video editing on a laptop doesn't seem like it would be that great of a thing, especially when I have this set up over here to do my video editing on. However, I found it actually works really nice on that machine. I don't have any heat problems. It's just convenient to be able to kind of lay in bed and do the video editing there. Um, honestly, the desktop is mostly... I write a lot of papers on it, and that's about it. Watch videos and write papers. I don't really game, even though it's a pretty capable gaming machine. It's not really what I use it for. It's just it's just here because I like having a lot of screens. <laughs> and um, honestly, the 660 Ti video card that's in it is more than adequate for everything I ever run on it, so I don't plan on ever really upgrading that, unless it dies, of course, and then I'll be moving on to something a little better, but let's see, power-wise, it runs everything I'd ever want it to. Go ahead and put this ribbon connector back in. It's a bit squirmy. Get in there, plug that back in, and now should be able to, I'm just going to lay the bottom back on. Put these magnets down the bottom, which is kind of weird feeling when you're working on it because they kind of suction it back on there. it back together. I think I've broken most of the clips on here. It doesn't really clip properly on this side over here anymore. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, see that doesn't, that doesn't latch over here anymore, but it's not bad because there's a screw that goes right there anyway, so it doesn't really affect anything. And I'm knocking the camera all over the place today. Let's see if the keyboard does anything. Actually, it is. Although it's definitely not doing what I want it to do. Caps lock isn't working. It's better. It's better than it was, but it's still not right. to type a second ago, but oh, no. Backspace works. Just going to go ahead and pull this off the screen here. and open up notepad. Since this still has all the previous owner's date on it, I haven't actually really done anything to it. Well, N doesn't work. W doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't seem like any of the keys are doing anything. Oh. WordPad. This thing is quite slow. Oop. Really not doing so well with the camera today. And I'm going to type this is a test. And we have HSSAS. -S -S. Yeah, that works really well. Backspace works, at least. And Caps Lock isn't stuck on anymore. However, it doesn't turn on anymore. Alright. Well, when you press the R key, it types a 4. That's good. Now it doesn't do anything. It seems to be slowly dying as I speak here. 
M works, N doesn't do anything, B doesn't do anything, V works, C works, X works, Z, L doesn't do anything, K works, J, H, G, F, D, S, A, P doesn't do anything, O doesn't do anything, I doesn't do anything, U, Y, T, R, E, W, Q, yeah, none of those do anything. And none of the numbers do anything. So the top half of the keyboard is totally dead. And the bottom half is not great. Although backspace works for some reason. Yeah, this thing's... It, it's not good. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If I should uh, try replacing that keyboard. Or I just kind of say screw it and forget about it. Because uh, I don't really know if this thing's worth fixing and getting back to its original condition. Or if I should just scrap it for parts and just kind of get rid of it. Because I don't know. It's not a very good quality machine. I'm not real fond of it. But I do like Dells. And it is a Dell. But it's also a consumer grade Dell. And they're notoriously not great. So... That's the one thing I'll say about pretty much any company is just avoid consumer grade everything. Get a business grade laptop, it'll be a lot better. Be bigger, chunkier, and better made, but hey. Well, I'm going to put this back together all the way. I will catch you guys later.